Good morning to everyone. My name is Dr. P. Nagishwara, Professor from St. Martin's Engineering College, Dunapalli, Second Day. Today I will discuss about the Stoinger wave equation. Okay, so for explaining the particle motion, for explaining the particle motion, Stoinger proposed one equation. Okay, that is the Stoinger wave equation. Okay, here there are two equations is there for uh, explaining the particle behavior. One is the Stoinger time dependent equation. Another one is the Stoinger time independent equation. Okay, so uh, by using the uh, Heisenberg formalism, by using Heisenberg formalism also, we can explain the uh, what is the position, momentum, and uh, so these all of the wave particle wave particle that means wave particle particle wave motion okay so that uh, by using instead of Heisenberg we are explaining here Stoinger wave equation so here there are two types of wave equations is there one is the time independent wave equation and another one is the time dependent equation time dependent equation time dependent another one is the time independent Time independent. Okay, so that means here, uh, so that in case of time dependent equation, so time is explicitly present. Time is explicitly present in time Schrodinger formalism. So there are uh, two equations is there. So one is the time dependent, another one is the time independent. In case of time dependent wave equation, so time uh, explicitly present. Okay, uh, for explaining the motion of a particle, motion of a particle. So with respect to the time, we can explain in case of time dependent equation. So in case of time independent equation, so time is removed from that equation. So these are no, not two separate equations. These are not two separate equations. So time independent equation is derived from the time de dependent equation only. Time dependent equation only. So today, so that means uh, here, uh, we will, today we will discuss about the so time independent equation. Time independent equation. So this time independent equation we can solve in two ways. We can solve in two ways. So one is so by using time dependent equation we can solve this equation. We can solve this equation. So another way is so directly we can solve the time uh, time independent equation. Time independent equation here. So for that so that means uh, Schrodinger time independent equation we are solving time independent Schrodinger equation we are solving now okay so for this Schrodinger considered a general wave equation general wave equation by using this general wave equation that means in classical mechanics uh, for explaining the so properties of light ray for explaining the properties of light ray that means uh, velocity of the light ray and the motion of the light ray so by using classical wave equation we can explain that so that means he can for, for solving that student equation he consider the so classical wave equation the classical wave equation is so del square psi is equal to so 1 by v square into so do square by do t square do square psi by do t square do square psi by do t square here okay so this is the classical wave equation by using this classical wave equation so uh, maxwell explains the maxwell explains the properties of the wave and as well as he explains the velocity of the wave also okay so by using this equation schrodinger proposed so schrodinger solved so time independent equation here so del is the del square means so do square psi by do square psi by do x square plus do square psi by do y square plus do square psi by do z square okay now so what is the psi psi means here wave function psi is the wave function here okay so wave function means suppose uh, if you will take any particle so that means particle has dual nature so one is the that means if you will take electron proton so those are those are having dual nature so that means uh, sometimes it will act as a particle sometimes it will act as a wave so for explaining the wave motion of these particles okay so that means uh, by using wave function we can explain that means uh, yeah 
so here this particle will move in different direction either x or y or z directions different direction so that's why so you can take this is psi x comma y comma z okay simply we will sometimes we will write just like psi okay so that means here so there is a wave equation is there psi equal to psi naught into e power minus h nu by so that means i omega p e power i omega t psi is equal to psi naught into e power i omega t so this is a so uh, wave equation this is the wave equation so if you are first solving this equation for solving so it's showing the time independent equation so that means uh, we can differentiate this psi value with respect to t psi value with respect to t first we can differentiate differentiate psi value with respect to t with respect to t so now if you differentiate me do psi by do t is equal to, so psi naught into e power i omega t so omega is the angular frequency here so that means uh, here psi naught is constant so e power omega also constant so only we are doing with respect to the time here okay so e power a x e power differentiation of e power minus a x so that means uh, e power minus a into here instead of a i am taking i omega into so e power minus i omega t e power i omega t so this is the first differentiation if you differentiate again so differentiate this equation again differentiate with respect to t again okay now do square psi by do t square do square psi by do t square is equal to psi naught is constant and i omega also constant with respect to time here so i omega and here so minus again if you differentiate it means so minus i omega into so e power minus i omega t i omega t okay now so this equation we can write into do square psi by do t square is equal to do square psi by do t square is equal so we can write so this is minus minus it will be plus so i into i i square i square means so i is the here imaginary part okay i square value is minus 1 okay minus 1 into psi naught into so e power so into omega square will be there so minus minus omega square into psi naught e power minus i omega t i omega t okay so now psi naught into e power minus omega t that equal to we can write psi here okay so if you simplify this equation do square psi by do t square is equal to minus omega square into psi you can write okay psi you can write so but actually so what is the classical wave equation this is the classical wave equation okay if you substitute so if you substitute this value so this is equation 2 equation 2 value in equation 1 if you substitute the equation 2 value in equation 1 you will get the, so del square psi is equal to del square psi is equal to so 1 by v square into 1 by v square into minus omega square psi minus omega square psi okay now so this is the del square psi is equal to if you simplify it so minus omega square by v square into psi v square into psi here omega omega is the angular frequency omega is the angular frequency so there is a relation between angular frequency and linear frequency okay that is equal to, so omega is equal to 2 pi into nu nu so nu is the uh, linear frequency here omega is the angular frequency if you substitute omega value here we can get uh, so del square psi del square psi is equal to, so minus omega means so 2 pi 2 pi nu into 2 pi nu whole square by v square into psi into psi so now if you simplify this equation further so del square psi is equal to so 4 pi minus 4 pi square nu square by v square into psi into psi okay but uh, this is a frequency okay here velocity so uh, instead of velocity we can write so here velocity so velocity is equal to we can write into there is a relation between velocity and frequency there is a velocity and frequency so that's why we can write in one term so that means uh, there is a correlation is there so that's why so we can correlate them so that is equal to v is equal to we can write mu into lambda v is equal to that means v is the velocity of the particle here 
okay v is equal mu into lambda okay now coming to the so substitute that means v square substitute the v value and that equation so now del square is equal del square is equal so do square psi pi sorry so my so 4 pi square minus 4 pi square into mu square by so here instead of v i am writing v is equal to mu lambda so mu square and lambda square mu square and lambda square i am writing here okay so now mu square mu square gets cancelled so into psi will be there so del square is equal to del square psi is equal to del square psi is equal to minus 4 pi square so mu square mu square gets cancelled by lambda square into psi by lambda square into psi okay this is the uh, so one equation here so but this is in terms of lambda this is in terms of lambda but we have to convert this is in terms of energy this is in terms of energy so th that's why so we have to correlate to lambda to energy lambda to energy for that here lambda is equal we know that so according to the according to the Heisen so according to the Schrodinger wave equation lambda is equal to h by p okay so according to de Broglie wavelength lambda is equal to h by p here so p is the momentum p equal to we can write m into v so m into v so for that so for finding the p value so total energy we will take so e total energy is equal to so kinetic energy of mv square plus so potential this is the kinetic energy plus potential energy v potential energy v okay so now uh, yeah so in terms of that means this total energy we have to write in terms of potential so p momentum so that means e is equal to for that what we are doing means i am multiplying with m and dividing with m so 2m into m v whole square plus so v only what i am doing means here multiplying with m and dividing with the m so why i am doing like that means we have to write this total equation in terms of p so that means in terms of momentum okay so for that so e is equal to we can write 1 by 2m into p square plus v okay so finally this equation p square is equal to so we can write into 2m into e minus v e minus v now finally this equation p is equal to we can write under root of 2m into e minus v okay so so that means here from this we can calculate the lambda value we can calculate the lambda value that lambda is equal to h by p lambda is equal to h by p but we know that p value so lambda is equal to h by so p is equal to under root of 2m into e minus v e minus v okay now substitute the lambda value in this equation so therefore del del square psi is equal to so minus 4 pi square by so lambda square means h by so under root of 2m into e minus v e minus v okay so whole square whole square So now I am doing here. Uh, so the, if you simplify it, so del square psi is equal to so minus four pi square four pi square. If it will become into uh, if you numerator means so it will be two m into e minus v. Okay, by h square h square. Okay. So now finally this equation we can write del square psi is equal to, del square psi is equal to, so minus 8 pi square m into e minus v by h square h square so this is the Schrodinger wave equation if you simplify further this equation means del square psi is equal del square psi plus 8 pi square m by h square into so here psi will be there e minus v into psi is equal to 0 e minus psi will, will be 0 okay so this is the Schrodinger time independent wave equation okay if you simplify further means instead of 
instead of h cross h by 2 pi we can write h cross instead of h by 2 pi we can write h cross so if we simplify further means so this equation will be del square psi plus so that means uh, here you can write means uh, so 2m by h cross square 2m by h cross square into e minus v into psi is equal to 0 so this is a simplified Schrodinger wave equation. By using this simplified Schrodinger equ equation, so we can explain the motion of a particle in a box. Particle in a box. That is the application of Schrodinger wave equation. So particle in a box is nothing but electron inside the atom. Electron inside the atom. That means by using this equation, we can explain the motion of a electron or other small particles. Okay, micro particles. So this is about the Schrodinger wave equation. Tomorrow we will discuss about the particle in 1D box. Thank you.